XRP is a cryptocurrency that was made to reach five digits in value. XRP is a cryptocurrency that was made to reach five digits in value. The founders knew that this faster, cheaper, scalable, and sustainable currency will one day become the leader of the new global financial system, and it will be adopted by everyone. This $10,000 price was not taken seriously, but now it's time for the hodlers to hodl on tight because the five-digit value has been confirmed by the Central Bank of Monetary Authority, Federal Reserve. Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where we give you daily updates about XRP. Hope you are all doing good and holding on to your XRP. For those of you who can't hodl because they don't own the XRP, we have announced a monthly giveaway of 1,000 XRP coins. So hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already to participate in the giveaway. And don't forget to click the bell icon and share your views in the comments section below. Watch to the end for more chances to win the huge amount of your favorite coin. In today's video, we will be talking about the overnight $10,000 price prediction confirmation by the Federal Reserve. You will know about the proof that XRP will reach five digits overnight and how it will be the only currency available for the new financial system. You will also know about the new advancements by the Senate that might settle the lawsuit. In the end, we will also tell you about the recent price analysis by experts and why they think the price will go a little reverse. So, let's start our video. Not so long ago in an interview, the experts said that the Federal Reserve stated on their website that they are going to haul a new ISO system with an overnight method. The expert said that this method is an indication for XRP to the moon overnight. He was asked, what does moon mean? How many figures will XRP go to? The expert answered that it's not sure to what exact figure, but it will reach to five digits. XRP will be the only one in the market, and as of now, of all the XRP available out there, only 1% is in the hands of retail traders. The cause behind XRP to rise is that the supply will be staying the same, but the demand will go to the roof because the banks are now using it. The banks will use XRP and it will be the new financial system. According to the Federal Reserve, the Fedwire document states, in October 2017, the Federal Reserve Bank announced a timeline for their phased implementation of the ISO 20022 standard for payment messages for the Fedwire fund service. Originally scheduled to begin with phase one on November 23rd of 2020 and end in late 2023. ISO 20022 is an international standard for electric data transmission, including payment messages involving financial institutions. However, on September 23, 2019, the Federal Reserve Bank announced a pause to the ISO 20022 phased implementation and that phase one would not begin on November 23, 2020. The pause follows a request by the Payments Market Practice Group, a payments best practices expert group, to reconsider a phased implementation in favor of a same day one. As per the system we live in, if one giant bank like the Federal Reserve is starting, other banks will just follow, and this will lead XRP to five digits easily. The main catalyst here will be the ISO 20022 that will lead the price to five digits. ISO 20022 is supposed to be the system that will shape the future of cross-border payment systems. Central bank digital currencies also come into account here, as Ripple has been aligned with the ISO, and the ISO will shape the cross-border payments. XRP is the currency that will be used instead of any other currency because it offers cheap, fast, and scalable transactions and acts as a bridge currency. Ripple states through its membership, Ripple is able to contribute our experience and expertise in the application of the ISO 20022 standard to cross-border payments, and it uses the DLT data structures in our standardized API. In fact, Ripple and our customers on RippleNet are pioneers using ISO 20022 for cross-border payments adoption of ISO 20022 for domestic ACH and RTGS payments has become widespread over the past 10 years. But so far, its use by others has been limited in cross-border payments. Ripple Insight states that the world is converging on a new global standard, ISO 20022, the de facto global data standard for modern payments. To help enable this next step in global interoperability and meet the evolving needs of our customers, Ripple is now part of the ISO 20022 standards body. The first member focused on distributed ledger technology or DLT. ISO 20022 already used by payment systems in over 70 countries will be the de facto standard for high volume payment systems of all reserve currencies, supporting 80% of the global volumes and 87% of value of transactions worldwide in the coming years, according to SWIFT. The demand for Ripple's cryptocurrency XRP is set to skyrocket as Ripple currently relies on the power of the ISO 20022 standardization with RippleNet. According to a well-known crypto analyst, the price development of XRP is extremely bullish, given that it is the only project that is relentlessly pursuing the regulation of cryptocurrencies. 
In our previous video, we talked about new legislation proposed on protecting the investors. Well, this may lead to an early settlement in the lawsuit. Digital Asset Market Structure and Investor Protection Act is a step in the right direction in removing the current regulatory uncertainty around cryptocurrency. This new legislation proposed by Congressman Don Beyer to protect and encourage innovation through incorporating digital assets into existing financial regulatory structures. According to ZY Crypto, the proposed legislation if passed will likely have positive implications on already existing cases that have been lacking clarity, especially in the Ripple vs. SEC case. The Ripple vs. SEC case has been dragging on for over seven months. Most recently, the SEC filed a notice for the appearance of a new trial lawyer, attorney Pascal Gruyer. While Ripple seems to be having small wins in their favor, attorney Jeremy Hogan thinks that the second a settlement may be reached is likely to be in September. Hogan further analyzed the possible impact that the newly proposed legislation passage could have on the case. One thing the legislation does is define digital asset security as digital assets that provide the holders of the digital asset with equity or debt interest, rights to profits, interest or dividend payments, voting rights in major corporate actions, and liquidation rights in the issuer. Further, it states that the digital asset is a security when the platform of the issuer is not fully built out and the money from the sale funds the development of the proposed services, goods, or platform of the issuer. The SEC query against Ripple's XRP is virtually this definition because the platform is already operational prior to the sale. Ripple's XRP has no other digital asset security definition characteristics as well. While it is unknown that when legislation is adopted or whether it is adopted or not, it could be a good solution to Ripple in general and might settle the crypto trial. This lawsuit is a hurdle in XRP's massive adoption and is hindering the value to rise exponentially. Right now, the price chart of XRP is unpredictable, primarily because of indecisiveness in the case SEC v. Ripple. The total market in altcoin was widespread, but traders have a bearish view on the sixth largest cryptocurrency due to the stalled upward trend through market capitalization. According to FX Street, based on Whale Alert, 250 million XRP was transferred from an unknown wallet to Bitstamp on August 3, 2021. The transfer has sent warning signals across board since it could lead to a spike in selling pressure. Traders remain cautious given the increasing number of tokens now sitting on exchanges. Interestingly, Ripple Labs transferred 182.3 million XRP from its escrow account to former CTO Jed McCaleb's wallet in a planned settlement. Though this is part of a routine for the distributed ledger firm, a total of 500 million XRP was unlocked from escrow, and it has raised flags in the crypto community. Previously, significant unlocks were followed by a high inflow of tokens to crypto exchanges and a subsequent drop in XRP price. Given McCaleb's history of selling XRP at big quantities, traders are concerned over a drop in the altcoin's price. XRP price noted a sudden uptrend following the SEC v. Ripple proceedings, however the excitement was short-lived, and the price is range-bound yet again. The altcoin's price recently came close to retesting a high of 0.785 cents, but is now undergoing a correction. The downtrend is expected to be prolonged since the unlocking of 500 million XRP may drive higher inflow to crypto exchanges and create further selling pressure. According to the coin market cap, at the time of writing, the XRP price today is 73 cents USD with a 24-hour trading volume of $2.5 billion USD. XRP is up 3.27% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 6 with a live market cap of $34 billion USD. It has a circulating supply of 46 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think? To what extent the price will ever grow and will XRP reach $10,000? Share your views in the comments down below. Don't forget to participate in the giveaway, click the bell icon, and thanks for watching.